hi guys welcome to my channel and i hope you're doing good today because i'm about to share with you how to draft this tie pattern it is beginner friendly and the fun part about it you can make cash by selling this tie before we waste any time let's get to it so guys the first thing we need to do is to mark the first piece of the tie and the length is going to be 31 inches The next thing is to mark the width, which is going to be seven inches. So this is going to form like a rectangle of around 31 by seven inches. Once we are done, I am going to find the center point of the seven inch, and then I am going to drop by three inches from the center point. I'm going to mark three inches down and then I'm going to connect the, the three points to form a triangle. Now for the top part, I am going to mark one inch on one side and one inch on the other side. Then on the triangle, before the triangle, I am going to mark nine inch going up on both sides. Then the next thing is I am going to connect it from that one inch that we went in to that nine inch that we also marked. So on the first line, I am going to mark two inches down. And then I am going to from that point to the two inch mark that we've made. And the measurement is actually 4.5 inches. So let's go ahead and create the second piece for this tie. And it's going to be around 27 inches which is the length, it's going to be 27 inches. And in order for us to find the width, we will need to also measure the width of the, fr uh, the first piece. So right on that first line that I'm showing you here on the screen, you need to mark and measure how wide it is. Mine is 4.5. So the second piece, the width of the second piece is going to be 4.5. So once we are done drafting the rectangle for the other piece, which is 27 by 4.5 inches. So now I want to mark two inch down, just like we did for the first piece of our tie. We're going to mark two inch down. So once we are done doing that, at the bottom of our tie, we want to find the center point of 4.5 right on that line. So once we've done that, we want to go down by two inches and then connect the points to form a triangle. So guys, we are done drafting the tie pattern. So the next thing that we need to do is to go ahead and add our seam allowance, which is going to be, I'm going to add centimeters, which is one centimeter or 0 0.5 inch seam allowance. And another thing that I also want to highlight guys is when you do draft your tie pattern, make sure to identify that it's going to be cut on a bias. So guys, this is how you are going to go ahead and sew your pattern. As you can see, as soon as you join the two pieces, this is how it's going to look. 
but either way guys let me go ahead and show you how to cut this pattern and sew it out okay guys there's my fabric it doesn't have any stretch at all as you can see and I'm using one meter so how we're going to place or how we're going to cut our pattern make sure that you place it on a bias form as you can see it has more stretch when you place it on the other direction and you want to place your big piece on the right sides facing and the small piece facing down and I've already cut my main fabric including the lining so you need the lining and also the main fabric for this tie so I'm going to go ahead guys and join the two pieces right sides facing and then go ahead and sew a 0.5 seam allowance So guys, this is how it looks as soon as I've joined the two pieces and which is the same thing that you want to do for the lining. So I've already uh, joined the two pieces for the lining. Now we want to join the main fabric with the lining together, right sides facing. So how we join the two uh, piece or two fabrics together is to first sew the triangle at the bottom by using 0.5 seam allowance. And also on the other side, you want to join only at the triangle by sewing 0.5 seam allowance. So guys, this is how it looks once we have sewn it. We want to go ahead and turn this tie right side. So guys, we are almost done. The next thing we need to do is to close the side. So what I'm going to do is to fold the tie in half like so, and then go ahead and sew a straight stitch on the machine. But I will also suggest that you pin, you use your pins as you're going to join the side because since we cut this tie on a bias, it tends to shift on the machine. So guys, I am done sewing the side. As you can see, this is how it looks. So the next thing is for us to turn this tie the right side. And then once we are done, go ahead and press iron it. And I will show you how it looks once it's complete. And we are done guys. This is how our tie looks on the inside. As you can see, all the seams are tucked in. They're not showing. And if you want to work to look so nice and professional, go ahead and press iron your tie. So guys, I am done. I really enjoyed making this project and I hope you guys will enjoy making it and tell me what you think about it. As for me, see you on the next one.